Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be answering a very common question I get. Uh, what are my computer settings and uh, what can you do to actually see the performance differences? So what I've done is I've activated developer mode and I am being very, very rough with things. Um, right now I've got everything turned off and you can see we're getting all sorts of little glitches, we're getting stuttery. And for those of you who can see in the upper right corner, we're averaging about 34 to 35 frames per second. Um, and of course, what you're probably wondering is what does my computer setting look like? I'll go ahead and pull that down real quick. Uh, you will notice here that we're on an Intel Core i9 to 14900KF. That is not a messing around kind of a system. You can see also uh, coming down here, we have a 64 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, everything's on a solid state drive. And of course, we have an RTX 4090 uh, powering all of this, uh, which is quite a bit of uh, resources behind it. So what I've done in our menu here is I've shut everything off. Uh, and you can see we're averaging about 35 frames per second. I'm um, getting a little bit of that. I don't know what that's about. That's actually kind of a new thing. And I picked this airplane and basically a downtown London is a way to kind of really stress test it. So about 35 looking around, like I said, you can see the glitches pretty clearly with all that much computing hardware behind it. All right, so let's go start turning some things on. Uh, the first thing I'm going to turn on, of course, is going to be some anti-aliasing. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, start by flipping on uh, the uh, TL TAA. Let's go ahead and pop back and uh, see what that does for us. A TAA, a temporal anti-aliasing, is uh, knocked off uh, about nothing. And you can see again, we're getting a little bit of those glitches and it's, uh, it's not liking things too, too much here. And again, uh, that's a flight sim at its best. So that didn't work out so well. So let's go ahead and pop it over to uh, DLSS Super Resolution. Remember, this is anti-aliasing. This is not frame generation. And you can see that it has no impact. Um, uh, everything looks a little bit smoother, a little bit softer, but uh, our frame rate actually went up about a frame or two there. And the glitching is still pretty bad uh, when I do that. I wonder if it's uh, something up with my joystick, but I don't think so. All right, so that's that. That's that. And I'll go back to our settings. We'll tweak it some more. We'll go pop it over to AMD FSR 3. Uh, this is another, again, method uh, to do anti-aliasing. Look in the upper right corner. Again, frame rate not really affected. Looks pretty good. Everything's pretty smooth. Like I say, nothing too, too crazy there. I'm not complaining about any of those things in the slightest. I like it. So um, now let's go ahead and shut off anti-aliasing completely and go take a look at frame generation. Now, frame generation, as everybody knows, is a kind of a popular point of uh, discontent here. So I'm going to come down here, pop on. Of course, we'll try DLSS first, and I'll press uh, save and back, press resume, and I'll uh, see if things are different. Oh, wow. So I noticed my frame rate has gone from uh, 32 to about 72, and I can move my head with absolutely no jitters at all. All and uh, one of the things I always like to test uh, whenever you're doing any frame generation is take a look at the numbers here. If I give this a crank, what you're interested in is how smooth it responds, but you're also interested in how blurry everything is uh, when you do it. And again, those numbers remain nice and crisp. I can see everything pretty clearly without actually any issue, and I'm hovering about 80 frames per second without too too much shenanigans there. Not bad. Not bad. All right, let's head back. And we'll go ahead and flip on from DLSS. So we'll go pop on uh, AMD FSR 3. We'll go pop back in here and see the differences that makes. So frame wise, uh, about the same. Uh, you can feel it when you do transitions here. Again, uh, I'm being very, very rough with everything right here. This is basically peak roughness with it. And uh, coming down here, uh, let's take a look here. Again, this is a great way to test it. And now uh, you can see the numbers are still really crisp and uh, very, very easy to read. So I'm very, very happy with that. And again, almost 80 frames per second. It's still not as good at this transition. I think uh, DLSS did a better job there. Let's tap escape again, go back up into settings. Um, we'll go ahead and pop this um, back onto, uh, again, we'll be thorough here. We'll pop DLSS here. Going up to anti-aliasing, we'll go ahead and pop it up to DLSS and DLSS. So we're doing a double NVIDIA here. I'm gonna pop back over here real quick, resume. And uh, let's take a look. Let's give it a moment to stabilize. Uh, it's about 70, so we lost about five frames per second there. Um, as far as smoothivity, <laughs> if you want to call that a word, very smooth. Uh, that's absolute butter. I don't notice any differences here. Now, this is what I'm really curious about here. Ah, uh, do you see the blurries? Do you see the blurries? Yeah, those blurries make me crazy. Uh, they make it hard to read numbers. So we've um, given up a little bit of performance, but this is a little bit smoother when I do this. And yes, developer mode does chew up your frame rate here. So we've lost about five frames per second and we're getting a little bit um, smoother reaction there. Let's uh, keep going and experimenting. So swinging off that, uh, we'll try uh, AMD FSR 3 here. I'll press, uh, we'll leave that in balance to pop it back inside, give it a moment to stabilize. And our frame rate is gone down about eh, nothing here. Oh, that's it. Ooh, I'm not gonna lie, that, that's really good. Ooh, let's try some of this. Let's try some of that. Oh, that's nice. All right, here comes the real test. Here comes the real test. It's crispy. Do you see how it's got those kind of little crunchy artifacts on it? Uh, 
but it's easier to read than NVIDIA. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's go back to our settings again. So that's AMD FSR. So let's go ahead and pop on AMD FSR for frame generation. And now we're going to pop on DLSS super resolution. So we're doing AMD for frames. We're doing anti aliasing with the DLSS. Let's see what this feels like. All right. Give it a second, and this is actually not great. Uh, this is um, 60 frames per second, so it's still it's, it's comfortable. Like I could fly with this without too much issue, and it's starting to catch up a little bit. And one again, we'll go ahead and take a look at sort of the response down here. Yeah, we're getting the blurries, and again, that's a DLSS thing. The blurries are definitely going to be giving us some issues. Uh, coming back out here, I've definitely got a little bit of chop, and I'll use my joystick a little bit to kind of test it, and our frame rate isn't quite as good. All right, so that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop on a DLSS uh, over down here, and we'll go ahead and pop on AMD up here. So uh, basically, we're using uh, frame generation with NVIDIA, and we're using anti-aliasing with the AMD here. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that does for us. All right, performance-wise, I'm looking up top, and I'm looking at about 70 frames, which is fine. Let's test for the blurries. Yeah, they're not optimum, but they're also not awful. Interesting. Okay, so time for conclusions. What's the big deal? What is the trick here? And this is gonna seem kind of dumb, but it almost seems to me like using the AMD FSR is a better way to do anti-aliasing, but using DLSS is getting me a better frame rate. Um, so one of the things I'm kind of curious about real quickly here is let me go pop over to uh, AMD again. Let me pop this onto quality. We should do, uh, so Basically apples to apples here, because it was unbalanced a second ago. Let's pop back inside, get back in the aircraft. This is where I spend all my time. And let's test for blurries. Eh, could be crispier, could be crispier. And again, that's not bad. Frame rate though, pretty good. Looking out the window, 70 frames a second. Again, I could be really jerky about this like that. All right, let's do conclusions. So what I've discovered is, uh, first of all, uh, the, without frame generation, uh, Flight Simulator 2024, even on my really, really good system, is a bit of a slideshow. Uh, the second thing I've noticed after fiddling with this quite a bit is that AMD seems like they do a slightly better job with anti-aliasing, but frame generation is definitely a little bit better on DLSS, at least with my video card. If you're looking for general recommendations, uh, the key thing is if you shut everything off, let me go ahead and go back to that just for demonstration purposes. Um, this is the experience you're going to get in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And again, you've seen what my settings are. Uh, you know what my resolution of is 2560. This is not really playable. Uh, this is uh, FSX when I first had a Pentium 3 kind of a thing like that. So it is definitely going to be required to have some form of frame generation. What I kind of like, like I said, I sort of like the DLSS with the AMD. Uh, my classic default settings was this. But what I'm really curious about here is if I pop that onto audio, on audio, auto, I just want to see something real quick. I'm just curious, just curious. Give it a second to catch up. Interesting. Auto actually gives me a smoother this at the cost of a slightly lower frame rate. I don't know. I think I might actually like this one the best. Yeah, there's the blurries. Boo. Enjoy.